Hello everybody and welcome to Rob's Life 100. Um, tonight I'm going to talk about um, what has just been announced <laughs> by the government. Um, well basically they now want the unemployed to take a zero hour contract otherwise they're going to get the benefits stopped. For God's sake man, Jesus wept. Look, companies can have thousands of people on zero hour contracts and what they could do is they could just turn around and say right we want you in then you in, then you in, then you in. Get them in for a couple of hours work, once the work's been done send them on the way. Absolute joke. An absolute joke. Now, before we could actually, people on the door could actually turn around and say, look, it's a zero hour contract, I'm not guaranteed any hours, sorry, but I'm not going to work here. They turned around and they said, well, most people on the door, or on these zero hour contracts, I should say, sorry. They actually work around about 25 hours a week. Well, that might be so. But there's nothing stopping the company saying, right, we don't want you this next week. Then where are you going to be? You've got no money coming in. Are them up top in the bloody government thick? Because seriously, it, it, this is just like, well just doesn't bear thinking about. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. And it's just absolutely pathetic. And <laughs> to actually sanction somebody for three months for not taking a zero hour contract that, that is all wrong. It's wrong. It shouldn't be allowed should not be allowed. So, for me, by the way, just let you know, I've just actually started work um, through an agency. Um, yeah, I'm not guaranteed hours, but because I'm with an agency, and I'm registered with the agency, I still get me dole if I don't work. Now they're saying that this is all going to be for the universal job match, uh, sorry, the um, universal credit. Well, I, I don't think that's going to work either. We've had problems with universal job match. We're now getting told we've got to do this, that and t'other for zero hour contracts. We've got, all got told that we're going to get sanctioned if we don't look for work. If you're on the dole, you, you are looking for work because you want to better yourself. You don't want to sit there day in, day out, just staring at four walls because it ain't good. It isn't any good at all, you know. But I think that's what the government think we do. Just sit on our asses doing jack shit. Well, it ain't the case for me. My friends and family will, will tell you the effort that I put in looking for a job. But I want one that's got guaranteed hours or at least three shifts of, of work a week. Get me over 16 hours work, I'm happy. Not enough to pay me rent, don't have to live off the stairs then. But the zero hour contract is not the answer. It is not the answer. I mean, when I worked at, I used to work at an airport um, last year. Um, and before that I was a seasonal operative um, before I got made permanent. And 
one of me gaffers came round one day. I'd already been there over two years. And I'd be, uh, I had a thir guaranteed 30 hour a week contract. I was doing over 30 hours. But I was guaranteed 30 hours. He tried to give me a zero hour contract. And I just turned around and said to him, look, I'm sorry, but this is a, a complete change of my terms and conditions of employment. Um, where is my new contract to sign? Instead of just giving us a letter saying, you, your zero hour contract's being extended. Well, no, I'm on a 30 hour contract. Then he said, well, but that's what you're getting. That's all you're getting. And I said, well, okay, fine, fair enough. I says, I would like redundancy payment because of the change of conditions that, that you're imposing on my employment. He went away, came back, and guess what? I got me 30 hour contract back because he knew he was in the wrong. And the government is in the wrong on this. They cannot and should not force people to take a zero hour contract. They shouldn't be allowed to. Guaranteed hours? Yes. A zero hour contract? They need to be got shot off. Because the, what happens, <laughs> you know, a week into working, they say, all right, well, come in next week. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. but you go into work. You've got hours on the rotor or, or whatever, or however they do it. You go in, and then two hours after you've gotten there, so you've, you've spent petrol money, probably more than what you've actually earned for two hours, and they send you home. Because... The, there's no work for you. Nah. Sorry, but uh, zero hour contracts, they want tearing up and they want binning. It's a bit like what we've got in charge of the country at the moment. They want binning. But the only problem is, I honestly can't see um, Labour or any other party who can offer the British people exactly the same well they're going to offer the British people exactly the same higher taxes longer door queues but I can't see them offering anything different to what we've already got in yeah. anyway that's enough of me rabbiting on I hope you like this video um, don't forget to subscribe to my cha channel Rob's Life 100 and I'll see you all again soon for no doubt for another rant on the government and try and help people out on the door. Bye for now.